Welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi! My name is Adriana Rose and today I was planning on just going through my daily makeup routine as you can see. There is a lot but for my daily makeup routine um, it's pretty minimal. I don't usually wear fake eyelashes like I am now um, and we'll just go through that with you guys now. So the first thing I would usually do is I would either prime my face which I usually don't do but I would do my skincare routine and make sure my face is clean and ready for the makeup that I'm about to put on it. I would make sure I would wear a moisturizer and you know all that good stuff. But um, the first thing that I would do is usually wear a concealer. Now since I already am wearing makeup, I would just apply this under my eyes and I would use a beauty blender to kind of just tap it out and make sure that it's really natural and not too bright under my eyes, which is not very fun. <laughs> The next thing I would usually do is like mascara or eyeliner usually. I don't really have a specific order that I do them, but usually I would do eyeliner first. And this is going to sound weird, but I actually really like doing eyeliner. So for like a daily makeup routine, I would do a winged eyeliner. Like I kind of am. I'm wearing one now, but obviously I have fake eyelashes on, so it's a little bit hard to see. But I would do a winged liner, which I really like doing them, mostly because I have almond shaped eyes, so they kind of bring out those even more. Since I do have um, straight eyelashes that are not curly at all, I would brush them out with a spoolie first, and then I would take an eyelash curler and curl them up a few times, just to make sure they're not like straight. I know, it's horrible. <laughs> But we work with it, that's what we do. So I would take this mascara and I would use it to kind of make them longer. I don't really like using a bunch of like clumpy mascara. <laughs> I don't like it too thick, which is great for this one because this mascara in particular Florence does not make my eyelashes clumpy at all and one coat usually works really good for what I'm going for. Um, I would then do my bottom eyelashes, but not too much since my bottom eyelashes are kind of like a lot longer than my top ones, which is really weird. I know that. And then I would go in with a cream blush, specifically cream, because powders, I feel like they don't really work too well with my face. I like to use creams because they blend out better. I would take this and I would just have it on my finger or my beauty blender, whichever one I'm feeling. I would tap that on my cheeks. Um, I put it like up higher on my cheekbones. It's just personal preference. You can do whatever you want, but that's just what I do. Um, the next thing I would do, oh, is actually inner corners. Now we get to break out these fun things. So it kind of depends on the mood I'm in <laughs> for the color I'm going to use, but inner corners, I, which I call them, are just like sparkles in the like, corner of your eye to make you look more awake, per se. Um, but for like my daily routine, I would use a more toned down one, which is ironic because it's actually in the biggest palette. <laughs> this is a Morphe palette. It just has a bunch of nudes and brown shades I would use for inner corner. I would probably use uh, this one or this one. And I will put that right like in the middle of my eyes right here so that they are nice and shiny and I'll organize my stuff. <laughs> and then if I was feeling a little bit edgier that day, edgy is probably not the word to say, but if I was feeling a bit, you know, over the edge that day, I would use a brown shade and blend it like I kind of did today, blend it up. Um, stemming out from the wing and up into the crease, all of that. <laughs> and this palette smells really good. It smells like chocolate, so it's one of my favorites. And then I would take out a little bit bigger brush from Morphe again. <laughs> all these brushes are actually Morphe. Um, but I would take a shade out of here or two, probably more like this one, and I would go like right in the center of my eyelid. Since I do have hooded eyes, I like to go right in the middle 
instead of going all the way up in a cut crease because they don't usually turn out good on me, although I have tried them, I would go like right here and we would blend and I would tap it with my finger sometimes so that it's not as bright and like flashy. But for daily makeup, I tend to keep it pretty natural as much as possible. <laughs> Um, by the time we're done with that, it would be time for a powder, which I just use one of these like dollar store powders. I would put my brush in the powder, obviously, and then um, I like to start with my eyes because obviously I was wearing concealer, so I need to set that in. I would start with my eyes, go under here, here. Also setting in that blush, which is very important because it will bleed <laughs> since it's a cream blush. We would... Powder that out to keep going in the powder, but not too much, obviously, because I still like my face to be, like, a little, not shiny, but, like, kind of dewy, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and then I would take this brush with this highlighter palette. Um, it kind of depends on the makeup look I'm doing, which color I would use, but usually I would use either this one or this one since they're lighter and easier to work around with. I would do that tap it out because obviously I don't really like to wear very very heavy makeup unless I'm doing specific model shoots um, or like headshots or stuff like that I don't usually like to wear very very heavy makeup when I'm doing just natural stuff I would put this on my cheekbone and we blend that out other side and a lot of people highlight their noses but I don't really like to do that I don't know why it's never really been one of my things. Um, and with that, we are pretty much done. Um, I would wear a chapstick, just because I feel like my lips are always chapped. <laughs> and then, I find it, we would use... I use this, it's from NARS. I don't know what shade it is, but <laughs> I actually do it in a different kind of way than everyone else. I put it um, almost like a lip blend. I would put it in the middle on my lips and tap it out. Same thing on the top, tap it out, and then I would take this another Florence product. It is a lip oil. I would put it um, just right here and here on top and bottom of my lips. And I did almost forget, but luckily I did not, <laughs> which would have been really crazy. Well, what I was about to say is I actually do my brows, but I don't do them very very um what's the word like harsh i guess you would say so i use a clear brow gel and just brush them up and over um i find that a lot of makeup artists when they do my brows they always do them very dark which is not really something i particularly like but since i do more natural looks i just like to do the brow gel because i don't i feel like doing my brows is too much work for me <laughs> i'm just lazy that's just me but and with that, we are done with our makeup. It's a pretty quick process. It doesn't take me more than like 20, 30 minutes a day. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure you click that subscribe button to see more of this amazing content. Um, thanks so much for watching again. I love you guys. Bye.